I'm not sure if it's the suspect or the customer. I'm not sure if it's the customer or the customer. So no, he's staying there. Uh, he was so upset and frantic that I, I he, he didn't give me a name and a room number. They went close. You can slow down units for now. I think I can uh, find a room number. I think. Yeah. Can you try to get that? Yeah, we'll get that. This is our general manager. There he is. Hey. That guy does. Got a mount taken off uh, East Mound uh, towards the tire dealership. Jean jacket, black hat. Do you have a knife? 
Well, let him know the description. I don't know if he is or not. Do you have a knife on you, sir? Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Good on this side. I mean, he has stuff in there, but. Buddy, come on over here. Have a seat on the curb for me, real quick. What's uh, what's your name, brother? Who's on you? What did you say, Uh, It's a different guy. It's the one that I saw. What's your name, sir? McCoo. McCoo? And your first name? Don. Don? Okay. Is this him? Packing with a green. Carrying clothes, that's this guy. That's what I was going to ask him. What's your name? I feel like a black hat. There's a pile of clothes right there, too, that he was carrying. But the dude, I was talking to RP, and he came out and he ran east, but that fence is... I didn't see anybody over there. That fence is so long that he'd have to hop the fence or run down south. He might be going that way. When you call that out, there was nobody out there except him. Northeast of here. What's the description of the other one? Hispanic male. Excellent. Uh, Mark. Yeah. All right. We're gonna go ahead and take those up. Tim Ford, take them off, sir. Yeah, he's talking to me. Alright, brother. We're gonna cut to this. Okay. You just happened to be in the wrong place at the wrong time and wearing clothing that looked a lot like the suspect that was just involved. So we, we appreciate your uh, cooperation. Can I give you a bottle of water to get you on your way or anything? Oh, yes. All right. Go ahead, go ahead and stand up for me. You did the right thing, man. Just cooperate. You did the right thing. Who's our victim? He's possibly the victim. This guy? Oh yeah, whoever this, whoever ran was the one they said was the victim. Maybe. Said there was two of them. I think one put a knife on the other one. Native at this point, the guy that ran might be the victim. Who had contact with him? Um, we are there. Uh, us three. So the guy that ran, he's the one that got that went up and told you to call the police that he got robbed. No, there's another gentleman. It's not this one. There's two of them. Have Let's check this real quick. No, that's not him. Jean jacket. Get up. They say how old? This guy? Oh yeah, whoever this, whoever ran was the one they said was the victim. Maybe. Said there was two of them. I think one pulled a knife on the other one. No. Native at this point, the guy that ran might be the victim. Who had contact with him? Um, we are there, uh, us three. So the guy that ran, he's the one that got, that went up and told you to call the police that he got robbed? No, there's another gentleman. It's not this one. There's two of them. I have eyes on someone at the gas station at Bellia and Elia. So we, we were, he's staying in room 162, who? but we don't know if he's up there. Uh, all three of them. So, so who, who is the victim? What does he wear? He's wearing a, like, a gray sweatpants and like, a jean jacket. Gray sweatpants, jean jacket. White, black, Hispanic? He's a Hispanic. Young, old? He's about 30, 34 to 35. How tall is he? Uh, he's my height, so 34. And he just ran into the lobby he, and yeah, said somebody so robbed him? So we were taking care of a room here in the hall and they came in through the back door. 
and they came walking and they, they were like talking shit to each other, telling each other like, oh, like watch what you're saying, things like that. But we've seen both of them in the property multiple times. As, as associates. As, yes, with the other young lady that was standing. Okay. And, um, and then the other gentleman ran, ran down, after they went upstairs, he ran down and he told us that. What was the other guy wearing? It's a story that this guy put a gun to his head. So he's involved? Yeah, that's a, that's the guy that ran to the back. That's him that was coming up to the hall. This guy's the one that yeah. ran? It is being advised at this point we don't have a code three. That guy right there with the, the old guy with the jean jacket? With wearing two different kinds of shoes? Yes. Yeah, he could barely even walk through them. Yeah, that other guy ran looked like a younger Hispanic male. That's a this is an, this is a... The one that went to the back is a gentleman. That, this that, guy is an older white guy. He's probably okay. 60, 65. And he can, he has trouble just walking. Uh, I, you know, I know a lot happened all of a sudden real quick, but... Do you know what room they're in? 162. Okay, let's go check that. Oh, you have a key to it? Yes. Yeah. We're gonna check room 162. No. We got the victim. You have him over there? Yeah. Is that who 964 is? Johnny has one. Hold on, ma'am. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Can you go to your room, please? Oh, yes, sir. Or step outside? Oh, okay, I'm gonna go in my room. I'm just. Oh, my, my Come on, 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 my Bathrooms back this way. Not seeing anything take, straight. Take it out, hold the uh, whole room. Keep it. Is this where the guy was staying at, or? Where's this door right here? Oh. You can take it at the top. Yeah. This, this, this is their, I guess they all hang out together. I'm not sure if you're like some dead. Who stays in this room? Um, it's a, it's a young lady. That's what the someone that was standing in the back, the one that you told her she needed to step back. Okay. 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 Yes, that was the one that, that saw them walking and arguing in the hall. And you advise you're at the gas station? I'm on my way over there. You're going to be at room 162. Yep. What do you got? I pulled up and he, uh... This is where we're there for him, buddy. Can you wait over there? I called you guys, sir. I called you guys. I know. Guys. Yeah, we're we're gonna talk real quick. Let's calm down. I pulled up and he's trying to switch his jacket with the homeless guy. Uh -huh. So I checked out with them. I was like, oh, thanks for coming. Some guy started coming up to me and demanding money, demanding money. Like, what does he look like? Uh, I don't remember. I just know he was a short guy. What was he wearing? I don't remember. Well, they say these guys are buddies. Where is he going? 
Uh, hey, come here. Hey, where are you going? He said you took off running because the guy was standing outside his room. So I think he just uh, Code 16 or something? Yeah. Okay. Can you sit down? What's going on, dude? I don't know. I was outside smoking a cigarette. Some random guy came up to me, starts demanding me money. I don't have money. I was like, I don't got money. I don't got money. What did he threaten you with? He had a gun. He had a gun in his hand. He was what did he look like? A little short dude. And, and the, the, the manager over there says, that, oh, he looks like you knew him. Well, what would you do if he had a gun on you? And he starts trying to act like it's all So you cool. never met the guy before? I don't know who he is. I've seen him around here, like where I'm staying. I've seen him and he asked for cigarettes before. I don't know him personally, though. Like, I've talked to him. I don't know him, though, sir. I don't know him. I don't know him like that. Okay, so what kind of gun was it? Chrome. Chrome gun, sir. I don't know. Chrome gun? I don't know. It's a chrome gun. Do you want to pursue charges? At this point, sir, I'm so scared. I just want to talk to my mom. Please, so she'll know what so to do. So that's a yes or a no? I don't know, sir. He was going to shoot me. What would you do? Well, I'm asking, I can't I can't speak for you. You have to speak for yourself. Can I talk to my mom? Where's Please. your mom at? She's supposed to be on her way to Burger Time. I called her. It's the first person I called. Or I told her Burger Time. Do you want to pursue charges or not? I'm scared, sir. No, you're just... no, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do, sir. I don't know what to do. Well, did he try and rob you? He did. Okay. So, he's about this tall? Short little mother. He's a little short little dude. Okay. Short little dude. What, did he... what was he wearing? I don't remember, sir. I don't remember. I, I, PTSD. I mean, that doesn't give us a lot to I'm go on. I'm shaking up, sir. I'm shaking up. Do you need medical attention? No. I just want my mom. I want my mom. You need to send this uh, code 3. Go to channel 3. You got 3? Yeah, he's saying it was a small guy. Uh, that's about all he has. He doesn't have any clothing description or anything like that. So the guy presented a chrome handgun at him, demanded money but didn't get any money. Um, at this point he doesn't want to pursue, he wants to talk to his mom, so I don't really have anything to hide beyond that. I tried getting this basic 49, he says he doesn't answer questions, doesn't want to press charges, doesn't want to do it. Yeah, and he just, at this point he's uncooperative and he just started walking away. So we're 98. So when I was standing in the back of the window, you told us you needed to step back? Or one of your... Yeah. We'll be on the north side. Do you have video of this? Okay, thank you. Any other building? Okay. Did you see what happened? Yes, I was the one that, that saw them walking and arguing in the hall. And then when when they kept arguing, we asked them if everything was okay and if we needed to escort anybody out. And they told us no. And so they went, went went upstairs. And then what happened? And then about... Maybe a couple seconds later, the one of the gentlemen ran down and he was freaking out, telling us that the other guy that was with him put a gun to his head. Okay, but you didn't see that happen. No, but um, when they were walking, we we walked behind them because our maintenance guy told us that one of them had a knife with him. Okay. What was the What was the other guy that you didn't have contact that was upstairs that didn't? Come we, I talked to both of them. Did that other guy come down as well? No, he didn't. Only, he only one of them. He so did. the one that didn't come down, what was he wearing? He was wearing the, the jean jacket with the light gray sweats. Light gray sweats? Yes. Hispanic male? He's a Hispanic. He's about my height, 5'4". So what was the other one wearing? He was wearing the... The one that came down and said, hey... He was wearing black. I, I, I mean, I didn't... Well, at least it definitely wasn't that other guy. Was no, he was wearing a black, uh, like one of those regular sweaters. Not a hoodie or anything. It's just a black sweater. And he had like a black shaped head, like really short hair. Yeah. So the, the guy that came down and said a gun off to his head was wearing black? Yes, he was wearing a black hoodie. And he had yeah, he's saying it was a small guy. Uh, that's about all he has. He doesn't have any clothing description or anything like that. So the guy presented a chrome handgun at him, demanded money, but didn't get any money. Um, at this point, he doesn't want to pursue. He wants to talk to his mom, so I don't I don't really have anything to hide beyond that. You're going to make a, a left? Uh -huh. you're gonna make a he doesn't answer questions, doesn't want to press charges, doesn't want to do anything. Is that co-commission yeah, okay. this? At this point, he's uncooperative and he just started walking away. No cameras? No, we don't have cameras in this building. We have the front desk.
he doesn't want to pursue. Um, he just wants mom come pick him up, or he wants to go to his, go to his mom. So was the guy that ran out that way I saw? Was he yes, the one that got robbed, or no. the one that did the robbing? No, he's the one that did the robbing. The one that ran behind the building—that mm -hmm. was him. Okay, and where did the other guy go that you had that came down and Well, I, I was walking with him to the front, and then I don't know where he just ran out. What was he wearing? He was wearing the black one, the black hoodie. I think that's who's sitting there. Hello. Hello. I need to get to Bertha. Where's Bertha? <laughs> that's what it sounds like, right, Emma? Can we can we find out what's the name of the young lady? Nine six four Yonkers. Her name is Valerie Villa. What what is what number are you registered under? One fifty four. Oh, one six four. The subject that nine six four that one. Are you okay, with so us? We took one to six. Uh, he claims to be the victim. He went and walked into the store. He won't give us any information. Is there somebody in there? Ms. Ms. Villa. What's her name? No, I'm direct. There's yeah, no, some confusion here with the RP. Saying that the I male I saw was possibly the suspect. Yeah. The, and what, were the, what was their involvement? Well, I don't know. I don't know what they. I just know well, that is, is it, Well, is one of them possibly the one with the gun? That's yes. That's 164? Yeah. Okay. And it's 164? Yeah. Uh, uh, the small male uh, approached him with a handgun, demanded money. Uh, he claimed that the clerk said that uh, he knew the guy. Can you start working on getting her information, like a, a phone number and everything? Because um, we're just not going to... Can you text me the birth card or, or screenshot the, um, the checking account through the street? I need to have a phone number, address, all that information. Yeah. So like the one that first flagged her down okay, took off running when she was contacting us. Wearing a black hoodie or sweater. They're going to send it to me. 7393. So what we get, what we, if we get her phone number, we're going to have them come out to us. We don't want to just knock on the door if he potentially has a gun. Did you get that, Daniel? The guy with the 1080 is supposedly in 164. So she's getting a phone number for the lady that's in there, and we'll call him and have him come out. One with the ginger. Can you, uh, when you get that? Yeah, that's the guy we had over here, but he didn't The female is a suspect with what's her description? I'll get the 21 and I'll call her and I'll have them figure, figure out who's in there. Which one is it? 565. Five, five, She's pretty close. She's like her. I was talking about 5'7. How tall? How tall? I mean, uh, her weight. Her weight, she's like maybe one thirty. So what does, what does the suspect look like with the tank? Um, yeah, supposedly the guy with the jean jacket is what she's saying now. Hispanic male. That's the one that 79 had contact with? Jean jacket. No, 79 had contact with it. Oh, three more men. No, he's at the gas station. I know he had contact with somebody just recently because he's like, yeah, it's a gas station. Yeah, it's with 964 zone. Who, now how did you, what, who told you that he possibly went into this room? The young lady that, so there was a lady outside and she was asking us what had happened. Uh -huh. And I told her that we couldn't do it. She's like, it's because the guys that he's looking for are with me. That's what she told me. And we've seen her associate with these young men. Okay. And um, it, the first, the reason why I approached them was because I know they weren't staying at that building, and okay. I saw them arguing. So okay. they shouldn't have even been at that building to begin with. What's her name? That's staying in there, you know? Via. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get a hold of her, but they don't answer me at the they, front. They probably. Oh. Oh, this is her. Mm -hmm. I guess that. Right, let me get this. So, somebody. So this female 164 called the front desk and said the guys they're looking for are in 164. Okay. And I don't know what, how they know that he's. Is Valerie? Is Valerie Valerie? No, they're texting it to me. Okay. I'll call her and have them step out and find out who's in there. 
it sounds like there is somebody in there. But I don't know how solid the information is that the, the suspect with the gun is in there. But okay. they did mention that. Police department. Occupants of 164, we need you to step out, please. Need you to come to the door. Can you step out for me? Who else is here in the room? Nobody. No one else? No one else is in here with you? Hold on. No. You got anything up? You got anything in pocket or anything? Well, I'm on a We're just going to check for new weapons. Okay? He's on Do you have any weapons in there? Step over here, please. What am I under arrest? You're not under arrest. You're not. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, man. Do you have any weapons or anything on it? And I'm not giving you permission to search me. I know my rights. So we're doing an investigation. Someone, someone reported to be in that room with a gun. Who else is in there? Just drop There's no one else in there. Okay. Anybody else in the room? I'm going to check and make sure you have any guns on you or not. Okay. The Las Cruz Police Department. Not interested in anything. Anybody else? Is anybody else there? Not, not here, but is anybody else there? Okay. Is there anyone else in the room? Is this a multi tool? A knife or something right here? Yes. Okay. I'm just going to take it out. Do you mind if we check the room and make sure there's no one else in there? Go ahead. You don't mind. Go ahead. Okay. All right, just chill, man. Okay. You got to understand, we're doing an investigation. Somebody said, we have, we have somebody saying, we're in there. Here, you want to clear Can you give a name yet, Brian? I'm getting it now. Uh, what's your name, Brian? Did you already do one? No. What is it? Anthony Crawley. Okay. I uh, appreciate you letting us check out your room. Try to yes, okay. I'm sorry, one more time with your name. Anthony. Is your ID card out in New Mexico? Yes. And what's your last name? Crawley. C. Did you see her today, Valerie? Yes, I did. So it says free coffee line? You know and we've got a male detainee. Do huh? you know who she might have left with or be with? No. Can, I? Can you copy one? I'm sorry, I'm stuck right now. There's a card on the floor. I did check it though. Oh, cotton balls.
What's going on? Why didn't everybody else have a brown stone? Somebody called. It wasn't Valerie, I know that for a fact. Well, some from female called front desk and said, The guys you're looking for is in room 164. How odd is that? It is odd. It's really. You are looking for a female and a male. Send you a little Valerie. Well, she take off. Don't care who's the other male show to go. You know what I mean? I have one. I got people that don't like me. Okay. You have video of it? No. Who saw that? We all did. <laughs> hey, you were there too? Yeah, we were all there. We were Can all I talk to you over here separate? Yeah. Do they know you're staying here? Do they, do they know you're staying here? Okay. Yeah. Does Valerie have a gun? Or does she have one? That's what we're trying to figure out is where the, these people are with a gun. You know what I mean? I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. That, well, that's why we're here. Somebody pointed a gun at somebody and, uh, the, and we ended up here. Uh, 40 for FTA on traffic, our desk. You know you got an arrest warrant? For traffic? Yeah. You're, you're mixed up in this thing, man. I don't know how. We haven't figured that out, but you're involved in it some way, and that's why we had cause to make contact with you and run your name. Okay, we appreciate your cooperation. Um, and, you know, the victim doesn't want to pursue charges, but we are going to have to take in on the warrant. Okay? Has Valerie called you or texted or anything at all? Yeah, she was here. Right before, she left right before you guys got here. She was in the room with me. She, Where'd she take up to? She just left. Do you know where she went to? Uh, I don't know. She ran in the store? I don't know. Has she got a warrant too? I don't think so, no. Yeah. Um, do you want us to just lock the room up yeah. for you? Do you want us to leave her stuff in there? Yeah, leave my stuff. Whatever you have in the topic, uh, yeah. What about your chain and all that? I put the knife in there. Yeah. So we'll, we'll get all your property out of here. And we'll put it in the room and make sure it's locked up. Central Central, go ahead and confirm. Yeah. Now, nah, sorry, bro, but I mean, we've got a lot of cops here because we got sent to a robbery. And I'll, I'll leave your uh, glasses in there. How about your chain? Yeah, I'll keep my chain. Okay. So you said everything else was in the room. I'm Is there sorry. Else Can I? Let me just double check real yeah. quick. Yeah. So the, Are you, yeah. you have any, un any, any no, uh, more needles than that, uncapped or anything? No, I got them back. Alright, we'll deal with that. And where is it at? It's in that pocket. This right here, the little yeah. cigarette pocket? Yeah. Uh, Did Valerie leave the because we showed her up? Or she just left? Yeah, she was
I really don't want to get stuck. You got any um, any no. more needles or anything? All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Bro. Keep facing that way. It's probably 10:40. I'm sure. Have a car or yeah. oh. What kind of car is it? What's this? Fentanyl? Oh, quite a bit of fentanyl there, buddy. Do you want to take this money with you? Or, um, yeah. you want to take the money with you? Put all this in, uh, in the room? Yeah. Is that everything on this bench? Yeah, he's got a 40. Take care of that stuff for you. Alright. After talking to the two different workers separately, Jean Jacket guy, I suppose he's a big He's walking with this other dude, black, black sweater basketball shorts. They're kind of arguing in the hallway and some of these people see him on the first floor. They say, oh, is he okay? Jean jacket guy's like, oh yeah, no, he's my brother. We're, we're cool. They end up going upstairs. Pull out of cash if you got that and then I think, I'll, is that a dollar bill over there? Yeah, you can give it to you. What do you want to do? So they go upstairs. Go upstairs. They're up there. Okay. After talking to the two different workers separate, Jean Jacket guy, I suppose he's the big He's walking with this other dude, black, black sweater, basketball shorts. They're kind of Is, uh, you think now he has warrants as well? Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Right here. No, I don't know. If Probably not. I'm gonna call. We don't know, but he's got a ton of math and fentanyl on him. Makes sense. Yeah. I bet you he's the guy. You should see the room. It's full of phones, electronics, oh, all kinds of stuff. Yeah, he's got more fentanyl than I've ever seen. I don't want to see that. Dude. I so I'm going to call Metro. There's definitely trafficking them out here. Oh, well, good contact. This guy doesn't want to pursue this other guy. Yeah, we had cause to... They, somebody called, a female called the front desk and said, the guys you're looking for is in 164. So we made contact, he came out eventually. And so we had cause to run him. Yeah, He's got... Guy, this guy looks sketchy as hell, too. He's got a warrant, so... Like, I don't want to... Uh, uh, I don't want to pursue. I don't want to pursue. I... No, I need to talk to my mom. Okay. Yeah, he just... He probably had 40s, I'm he sure. probably went to buy stuff. Yeah. So I'll take him 81 and we'll get... I'll start Metro. Okay, sounds good, man. What's that? Uh, guy's name and all that shit? Yeah, I've got his ID. 7 Central. Mail 15, not having around 81. They're talking to the two different workers separate. Jean Jacket guy, I suppose he's the big He's walking with this other dude, black, black sweater, basketball shorts. They're kind of arguing in the hallway, and some of these people see him on the first floor. They say, everything okay. Jean Jacket guy's like, oh yeah, no, he's my brother, we're, we're cool. They end up going upstairs. Pull out of cash if you got that, and then I think I'll. Is that a dollar bill over there? Yeah, you can give it to. We wanted everything to stay here. Yeah. Oh. 
And so they go upstairs. Go upstairs. They're up there for a little bit or whatever. I guess the people, the workers are near another set of stairs. So they go up the stairs one way. And the guy, Jean Jacket, runs down the stairs that's nearest to the employees. Okay. Down to the first floor. He says, hey, this dude had a gun in my head and this and this and that. I was trying to rob him. The Jean Jacket guy who's the victim runs off, comes over here to the annex. He runs out and they don't see him. So I show up, there's a dude wearing a blue sweater, black hat, sitting out front. He's like, I'm just out here smoking. I don't have nothing to do with it. So I'm trying to talk to the one of the RPs. He's like, oh, that's the dude. And the dude get, exits out this door. The one I said he had anything to do with it. Jean Jacket. No, the other, the, 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 other, the, the other guy. I said, okay, get out here. Because even our people was like, no, it's, he's not. But you saw a victim. And yeah, the victim goes out these doors, runs out around the building, and it looks like he goes around back. I'm guessing he hops into that wooden fence. He might have just gone over because there's, there's no way over. Yeah. That's a tall-ass fence. Yeah, so I, he went over to where I couldn't see him. Yeah. yeah. And then that's it. They don't, see vic they don't see suspect anymore or they don't have any contact with victim. So do, do we think the guy with the... Basketball shorts, or he's alleged suspect. He's alleged suspect. Do you know if this guy has shorts on underneath? Because he's got the tattoo design. That's what yeah. she. That's what she claims. Yeah, yeah well, they're, they're saying it's short. Yeah, it's a new short. And what about? Do they have any video in the lobby where we can see? No video. Not the incident. At least people have ID. That's, that's what they said. They don't have any video. So maybe the guy took off with Valerie because that's what they said. Valerie was with the guy. Well. He said, yeah, at first he was saying that, that well, at first he said Valerie had a video for a while, this and that. And once, once we hemmed him up for the, uh, for the, the warrant, he said that Valerie just left. A so that, it's a coincidence or not? You no, wanna, there's a bunch of If it's, it's like in plain sight. Oh, stuff. that stuff, I don't. Yeah, hold on the room from the metro and see if they want to do anything with that or? They left a bunch of hard drives and phones. Oh, there's it, a bunch it, of phones, there's computers. There's a bunch of, yeah. He gives permission to search for people. That's what we're looking for. He, let me Let's double ask check him to about video. Let me make sure, see if they have anything in the lobby. I asked him a few times yeah, about I, it. They I, said I, no. Ask him again because I want to make sure that they understand we need video, just a plain video, so we can try to ID the people. We're not necessarily going to. Obviously, they don't have video of the incident. So they, they might be confusing. Do you have video? No, because there's no cameras up there. But if we can see them in the lobby and ID who our suspect is, it might be this guy. Okay. I mean, and then. I think we're good here because okay. he allowed us to go in there and search for people, but. Yeah. I mean, we can't prove the stuff stolen unless we start running stuff, but. Yeah. I didn't see anything in plain sight, just a needle and some foil. Okay. Um, on the bathroom, but that was when I was clearing. I didn't look to but see. This was good information for, uh, for the intel unit. Oh yeah, he's got blood, just nothing. And a female's jacket. Because he just stole stuff. Well, it's registered to a female, and he said that she left, so that might be the female we're looking for. He had some fentanyl on him. Copy it on Do you guys have any cameras where they might have appeared in? Just this, uh, I got two cameras out here. I'm not sure if they're recording or not. That would be uh, the manager. Uh, yeah, I just points in the last. Yeah, that's Chris. And going to be wearing a uh, black jogging suit, which guys don't have the apartment. Um, do the cameras record? Right. And then, uh, where did this happen? Over here? Over here, getting all the nice from because I think you say they're going to all that box so I don't know if you want to get one of the from the mm -hmm. And they were you? Yeah, it was me and the two managers. Mm -hmm. We were just checking like the empty room. And they were coming from over there, but they were arguing the whole time. And we were right here in room 109. And when we heard them arguing, we got out of the room, we started walking towards them, and then the lady over there, Blanca, the manager, she asked them what was going on, and they were just like, oh, he's, he's my brother, but he, he won't leave me alone, and like, just get him away from me. And, like, so you guys, are, you guys are right here, right? Yeah. And they are And they were coming from over there. Coming this way? Mm -hmm. Arguing. From the second floor or from? From outside. 
And then when they got up to here, like that's when the guy, the victim guy, said that the other guy was his brother, but that he wouldn't leave him alone. And the other guy, he had like long basketball shorts and a long shirt, and How he was tall? holding his pants. How like, tall was he? Then? Like about this tall. The guy with shorts. Kind and of he was holding his shorts like this, and he, I saw that he had it on, but he had it like folded. And the taller guy. The taller guy had a black hat. Okay. I don't really remember what he was wearing. Hey, I'm yeah. not here. Uh, they were both just holding their pants like... Yeah, for our guy that we 15 and now I'm taking him for bucking because he's got close 16 on him. So... Okay. After they walked through here, they went upstairs. Yeah, and then that's when we heard them run. They went upstairs here? Yeah, they went upstairs through there. And then they, we heard them running. And, and then, then... One guy comes down. I guess one of them... I guess the guy with the basketball shorts, he went out through there and then came outside, I guess. And then the other guy just came up from over here, and that's when he told us, you know how I told him he was my brother? He's not, he's just trying to rob me. And so the basketball shorts guy runs all the way through, comes down and out. I think that's what he did, because... Did you see him do that? No. Okay. And then this guy comes out of these stairs? Yeah, like he came back and he was coming from the front desk, he had already told the front desk, and they had already called you guys. Okay. And then he takes off. And then like, my, the manager, she told him, well, you, you guys were talking like if you knew each other, and then that's when he got like all offended. He's like, I'm telling you that he was holding his gun point, and you're telling me that I'm lying. So did did the did the victim guy in the jean jacket? Did he go up to the lobby? Yeah. He so they should come out on camera there. He should. If, if the camera is recording, they're not ready. Okay. Yeah. So you guys. You weren't able to see him come down these stairs, right? He just went over to the lobby. Yeah, he just came up, he was coming from the lobby, but he was like all panicked, and he just kept saying, like, what would you do, what would you do? But once they went upstairs, you never saw the guy in the shorts again? No, he, he never came out again, just over there. Have you seen him here before? No. If you saw him, would you recognize him? Yeah. Any video from the lobby? Right. Because he came up here to you guys, right? Yes. And you were up here in front? Yes. And he was just very frantic in stating that the uh, guy just pulled a gun on him and uh, wanted his money, threatened to kill him. How tall was he? Maybe about this young man's life right here. What'd you think? Five, five, eight, five, six. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> maybe, it, maybe a little bit shorter. Yeah. And he had the jean jacket on. He had the jean jacket. No, and he had a white, uh, white uh, first looking collar on it, mm -hmm. or cheeks again, whatever you call it. And he was the guy that ran out when yeah, I showed ran him. out, went around that way. He went around that side, so. If he's not back there, he had to go over the fence. Yeah, they, I believe they had contact with him over at the gas station. But you didn't the, see the, the other guy in the shorts? The other, now, I, I had an issue with her. I, uh, I told the young man earlier before this happened, he needed to be leaving the building because he was not staying here. And uh, so I was coming back in from checking their big sign out here, and I see him down the hallway. So I attempted to catch up with him. He kept looking back and started walking a little faster. I'm down around the corner where room 116 is. All of a sudden I saw a leg come out and he had shorts on, but he put on like a pair of black uh, vinyl pants and it was going out the door and I said, don't come back. He said, well, we will be calling the cops to, and have you a, uh, do a trespassing charge on you. And he was wearing black shirt. Uh, and then those black pants and I believe a green ball cap. And he may have been about your top of your height. Yeah, he's real small. That could have been that guy. What's on? This guy? The guy we got? He's thin. He's actually a little taller than I think, but... Yeah, a little taller than me. Dark skin. Light skin. He's definitely Mexican. Um, 
not too light. But no, how, how old would you say he was? Um, it's hard to tell. You could clearly see that he was like on drugs, so it makes him look older. So I don't know. Any tattoos that you can notice? Um, maybe on the neck. I think I or want to say maybe on the neck because I noticed when he was walking because he walked real fast and he went up and over there and then down. I just saw something right here because he was like carrying maybe those pants because he yeah. was carrying mm -hmm. something. And he was just acting real weird to like come in, go up the stairs, like like he was trying to avoid being here. And what time was this at? We're gonna go run back. I appreciate it, bro. You, uh, all you got is a traffic warrant. Okay, so. What about, what about his hair? Thank you. Oh, into this right uh, yeah. I was gonna say it was like a ball cap because I didn't really pay attention. Okay. I know there was something on his head. By 1230. Um. I just talked to him on the phone, so he'll be here in a little bit. And then he left. Mm -hmm. And he went out that side door, and then I saw him a few minutes later come this way. And uh, when I caught him, um, he was trying to get in that building over there as well. And he started walking. I told him, You need to be leaving. I said, I'm not telling you again. He went that way around the corner, and I walked this side of the parking lot to make sure he's leaving. He went on the other side of Big O. And I figured he was going up to Murphy's or something like that. You said he was in room 116? No, he was. He, he changed in the hallway right on the other side of room 116. Uh, maybe. So you're a video, but I wouldn't be surprised if it's the guy we have with. So the guy we saw, the, the guy we saw was the same guy that you had contact with here in the lobby. Yeah. Our victim. Sorry, our victim. We just don't have any video to confirm who our suspect is. Right. I only have one of these two cameras out to catch him. Yeah, that'd be nice. All right, we'll, we'll be back We're, All right, to you. check up on that video. Yeah, one seemed tall. This, this guy seems tall, though. Everybody else is short. Five, six, seven, five. But I wouldn't be surprised if it's this guy, because he matches the, the rest. Oh, yeah. So. And then he probably couldn't get in, so he probably took off, called Valerie, yeah, let me in. That's when that guy saw him over there. And then when he saw the guy come back, Valerie opened the door for him and let him in. And then we showed up, Valerie just splits. He, Does Valerie have a car? Yeah. Valerie splits and uh, he stays in the room, but. Because yeah, I'm here talking, you know, the dude that matches the description right here, sitting down smoking a cigarette. He's like, hey, no, that's not me. And this dude's like, yeah, no, it's not him. And then this dude runs out of this door, out and around, jean jacket. Uh -huh. So why is everybody, why does our suspect and our victim come over here on this side? Because they got to come here. One of them does at least. Because obviously they know each other somehow. So I would be surprised if our suspect changed a third time. I mean, it has, it took a while to answer. Plus we knocked at the other door. He knows we're there. Yeah. It took a while to answer the door when we are knocking at his room. It's by himself. Alright, well, we'll see. Hopefully, they can get video. Of not how much more we can do, but we have all that. Even okay. even, even so, the victims. No, yeah, but at least the idea that this guy is involved. is involved somehow and has a weapon. And obviously, he's out oh, That's a bunch of stolen property has in there, too, so. There's. Could be running a small business. 
He needs a license then. I'm gonna get codes over here. You see, they have a business license. Yeah. He has a lot of hard drives. A lot of phones. Watch this. It's peddling that uh, information to black market. I've been meaning to walk that market, but I can't find it. It's not like the farmer's market. Dude, I was gonna. I was almost done with my time sheets. I'm gonna go hop on my bike and go to the farmer's market. Yeah. And then we get sent over here. What's it called? Pedal bike. Yeah. You have one? Yeah. Certified? Yeah. Dog. So it's fine. When did you get that done? I got certified. Oh, when I got. I got certified a long time. Back when that's the only way you could wear a different uniform. Back when the only other uniform was a bike uniform. Yeah, I was having a bike. That's the hardest class to get into. And I got, and I had a hand me down by our uh, Bratwer. Yeah, I think everybody does. I don't know who has the original Bratwer, except for Climac and Soto. No, uh, I, V gave me his because I forgot where V went. I gave it back to him when he got, oh, when he came back. Right. Yeah. Because I have, I think Savage's old Bratwer and stuff. But, um, all right, well, it's. Their if anything, if she can't get it, maybe we can have a call later with it. Did you guys lock this door up or? Yeah. Yeah, there's you no know, metros? The metro? No. I'll see if. No, I don't care. I'll try to figure out who they are. If I know them, I'll call them and see if they want this room for anything. Alright. Cassidy took off to go hop out climbing. We'll see you later. That 15. Oh, okay. Alright. Because climbing so it helps us, dude. Let's get him. I'm sure he's not good with, with booking with the tracks and all that, so let's get him. So, well, he's always wanted to help us. Yeah. Let's get him out of here. I'm cool with that. So I'll, I'll be here, see if they need this anymore. Check on this. Okay. Once I'm out here, go see if they need any help. 738-868. Okay, that comes up to you guys. So when we, when we were outside and we turned and you saw, you saw the guy run to the back of the oven, right? What happened with that guy? Did anybody catch him? Yeah, we talked to him. He says he didn't want pursuing charges, knows who it was, but doesn't want to tell us any information. So pretty much uncooperative. Was he telling you to call us? Or was he yes. Us? Yeah, so my understanding is that he was uncooperative. However, we got the mail that was in room 164, got his information, and he comes back with some warrants, so he's going to jail. Who, how long are they staying in 164? How long have they paid in for that room? You know? Can you, Rick, can you check for me room 164? Or check out there, please. Well, um, there's no checking in early, but that's why I agree. Uh, three years, I have over $10 worth of cars in the kitchen room. Oh, man, that's the only fine you just do. I just paid here since like seven. So then the other guy that ran to the annex, he's oh, like, yeah, like, the because there's nothing wrong with him on the 7th? Which other guy? The one that ran to the annex in the back. The one that With the, the jean jacket? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll talk to him. Since he's a victim, there's really not much we can do. Even if we had the suspect and no victim, we're still kind of in the air, you know what I mean? So if I, if I kick him out and they don't want to leave, I can call you to escort them out, correct? Yeah, any issues you have with them, that's, we can deal with that separately. If you don't want them to be here, we can remove them. You know what room? They were all, do you know what room they were staying in? Do no. you recognize any of them from being No, I mean, I, I've been at the property for three days and I've seen them in it. I've seen them walking all over the property, so I don't. I just know they associate with a lot of different people. And the mail, did you see the mail that we got out of room 164? No, I didn't see it. I couldn't see it. But the mail with the shorts, how? How tall was he? Kind of shortish. Yeah, he was shorter. A little taller than you, maybe. Like a little bit. He's shorter than. Stocky, skinny. He's skinny. And the, and the guy. He's like a little gangster guy. And nothing. No luck with the video, right? No, I just called the previous manager here. They don't have a password. They never know the password. But it does record. 
you know, you guys have a company you guys go through for the security system? No, it's a property. Do you know the password? Do you know the password? Uh, password? No, but I know the last manager. Do you know her number? Yeah. Can you call her and see if she remembers it? Sure. Is it June? Yes. Oh yes. We're, I was trying to get a hold of her, but I don't have her number. Uh, I'll call No serial number at this time. And Odeon one. All right. Uh, I think we're good for right now. We may be back depending on what the investigator wants to do for that room 164. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to figure it out here in a minute. The lady wasn't in there. Mm -hmm. She was out here checking out. She was? She left or what? She was out here checking out. 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 Is that when you were there already? Yeah, you were out there in the front office. Okay. All right, if I need anything, I'll come back here and get a hold of you guys. You need anything from me? No. All right. Thank you. Come here for a minute. Come here. Have a seat for me over here, man. Have a seat for me over here, please. Do you have any weapons on you, man? Nah, no, I just have a, my music. My bad, I couldn't hear you. Right. I'm going right to McDonald's. Right, I'm going to pat you down real quick. Do you have any weapons on you? No, I don't. Face the tree for me. Hello. Face the tree for me. I'm gonna pat you down. Are we being detained? Or? Yes. Face the tree for me. You guys did this to me last time. Though. Oh, don't walk all the way up there. Come back here. Come back. Yeah. Put your phone down. Well, Put your phone down. Are you alright? Yeah. Hold my hand like this. You know, nice your fingers. Behind your back. Put your hand behind your back. Interlace them. Interlace them. Yes, sir. Lock them tight. Yes, sir. Tight. Hold on. Let them loose. Let them loose. Oh, let them loose. Yeah. Tight now. Anything that'll poke me, stick me, any knives, needles, anything like that? No knives or anything like that, man? This is uh, some bombers and... 7, 8, 9. Could be around to 10, 10. Like, this is not fun. I'm not laughing. There is no hug. I don't know why you can't be done. You didn't even tell me why. I'm gonna call for service out here with the bus and the can I smoke the cigarette? Sure. Where are you headed to? I mean, I was gonna go right to McDonald's to get a drink, but they have me trespassed from right there, so I was going over there. Have you trespassed from where? From over there from the picnic. They went by Super Cup 20. Were you over here dealing with somebody earlier? No. 
Where were you earlier? Oh, like 30, I, was, I was eating at um, whatever that place is called right there. Which one? By the T-Mobile. Where Domino's is it? At the Domino's? I bought some food right there, yeah. How long ago? In front of the lava burger, like 45 minutes ago. And I was filling out that paper right there. Bro. Sorry, I just, my mind rushes all crazy. It says all kinds of shit. So. What does it say on your neck? My mom's. What's your mom's name? My mom's name? Uh, what is it? My mom's name is Norma. Norma? Yeah, I think I dealt with you somewhere else though. So. Yeah, the last ticket you gave me. Nah. You checked how I was asleep right there on uh, at the Save Mart. Nah, somewhere else. It's you when you were tripping. No, Benoit or something like that. Yeah, when, it's when you are tripping. You were yeah, on, you at court. it was at, uh, right there on Madrid. No. Madrid, where that, that phone place is. Uh, Remember you got into a fight with us? Oh, that day, that day you guys took me to the hospital? Yeah, that was like a year ago. Uh, maybe longer. Remember. All right, just, you can pick up your stuff, you can put your stuff in your pocket. Just hang tight for one second, I'll be right with you, all right? Give me one sec. This gentleman that I'm talking to, is he the one that's involved or not? Where is the desk? Okay. Is this guy here the one or not? That's the one that he, he saw. Yeah, he needs to be written up for trespassing. This guy over here. But does yeah. he have anything to do with those guys? Is it, I don't, that's I didn't see him as a, I didn't see him as a, what they were What about this other dude over here at the vending machine? No, that's no, no, that's not. Right. But this is Miss Valerie yeah, Vigan at the front. this guy. I don't want him here because he comes in and not on the property because I ain't seen him. You want him trespassed? Or? Yes. With him then I'll deal with him. Okay, we will tell him to do over here. He already has to ID that. you here on this property, all right? So you're going to be trespassed from here. Okay? Yeah, you don't come by, even if you pass by anything like no, that. Well, yeah, that's the last time I see you, though, you're going to call for uh, I think I did talk to you before, a while back. Oh, the bus station right by the Save Mart. I'm tired of this shit. Yeah. You're wearing like a blue jacket or something, right? Oh, yeah, you're, you're free to leave from here. Just don't come back here. Don't get on the property, okay? Thank you, sir. Just got your penny right there. Over. The car's over this way. 
Well, I hop in if you guys can hear us. Like, what room are you staying in? 164. Who's staying with you? My boyfriend. What's his name? His name's Samuel Rodriguez. Oh, trying to figure out what's going on over there. Oh. I know, I seen you guys come last night. I was outside smoking a cigarette. And then I seen like two cars come in. What car are you in? I'm in the Lincoln. The oh, right in the front? Mm -hmm. Okay. Just come over here and get my car to make sure it's okay. Okay. Been away from it for too long. Who else is staying in your room? That's it. That's it. We rented it because the where I live, my pipe's broke underneath my trailer. What is your boyfriend? So I, don't have, I don't have water right now. He's not here. What does he look like? He's tall. How tall? Like, I don't know if it's tall it is. Uh-huh. I'm five three, so he's probably like five nine maybe. 5'11. Is he taller than me? Mm, no, he's not taller than me. Light skin, dark skin, medium complexion. Like medium. You can hang out out here in the front. You know anything about what's going on over here? Does your boyfriend or any of his friends or anybody have any issues over here? Check out tomorrow. Your name? Valerie Vias. Date of birth? Look different. It is for Native Spanish. A little bit looking rough. Yeah, I've been stressed out. My dad's dying right now. So. Been out in the streets or what? No. No, my dad's dying. Where do you stay? I live on right there on the trailer. You don't live on Scoggins anymore? Well, it's my mom's address. Yeah, I gotta go visit my dad. He's dying of cirrhosis of the liver. So I've been pretty stressed out lately. What's your boyfriend's name again? Sam. Sam. Rodriguez. Rodriguez? What's his date of birth? Why? I don't understand why. I think it's. Five eight six eight channel three. Did something happen in my room? I don't know. Did it? I don't know what's happening. Why am I? Like, I don't know what's happening. Eight six eight. You on three? Okay. Here you go. You have two five with her or no? You guys have any friends over? Your your boyfriend's no, friends? No, nobody came by, said hi, no. said anything. Mm -mm. Nobody ran up to your apartment. No. Nope. Nothing like that. Not. So hey, can I change? Can I do something? No. Hey. Uh, I have two five here with Valerie. Mm, nothing. Pretty much. When was the last time you were at your room? This morning. I want to be good. I like this morning. Hey, you said six? Oh my god, yeah, this is nice. No, no, you're sweet. Can you head over to the O'Reilly's on Mr. Gamet for a parade? What time did you leave? 
Um, wait. I got up like at 9.30, so... Yeah, but after that. Okay. Yeah. You guys ever talking to anybody with a jean jacket? Jean, you know, those jean jackets, black hat. Trying to come out. How about the, you know the gentleman that I was talking to outside? When the car you walked up? I don't. Oh, yeah, that, I don't know who that is. Yeah, I thought no. I was like being nosy because I was like, who's the DRS type of thing? <laughs> I get all excited over it, I don't know. I'm like, oh my god, who's that? Who's that? But like, yeah. I don't know anybody. Like, I, I just rented the room just because my water is getting fixed on my trailer. How long have you had the room? I rented it Thursday night. And then the plumber went to my house yesterday and then he said he was going to have to do work again today. What's your space number at that? Uh, 66. On Hadley? Mm -hmm. 1520? Yeah, I've been there for like four years. Mm -hmm. The Scoggins Avenue, that's my mom's Avenue. side of the annex door. Alright, so I know your boyfriend's name or whoever was in the room's name is not the name every time. So would you like to start again with your boyfriend? I mean, I just don't understand what's going on. Like, I don't know. Well, we were called out here for an incident that, that was occurring. Some of the information provided led to well, your room at 160. On my room? But nothing happened to my room. Well, so I'm not understanding why. I don't. Let, what I'm telling you is, the information we were given provided us information that led, that led to your room number 164. Well, don't I have the right to know what information was given? I don't. Well, the call we got was for a robbery. For a robbery? Mm -hmm. In somebody, my room. Somebody got threatened with a gun or a knife. Try to rob one of the crooks. That's gonna make me look hard because it's bullshit. Okay. So that that's the information that we were given. After talking to people, information came back to possibly room 164 was in there. So we talked to the guy that was in there, who was saying he's your boyfriend. But I tell you what, it's not Steven. Or what, was, what was the name he gave me? Steven Rodriguez. Sam Rodriguez. It's not him. It's Anthony Crowley. Right? I just, like, you guys scared the shit out of me. You guys have messed with me before. I mean, like, you guys really just scared me a lot. Number two, do you have one? Like, I have no fucking, like, no, like, how do you say it, like, um, not confidence, but, like, Burn it. In the police department. Mod 3. Yeah, scared of the fuck I'm just north of the annex building, uh, the one that's closest to the burger tent. Am I going to be arrested or something? Or what? Did you come over here when we were all out here? Kind of see I, I what just got going here on? right now. No, 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 but just... before. When there was a bunch of other units out here. Well, yeah, I was leaving. So you and saw us all Somebody blocked me. Well, one of you guys blocked me. Because I had to go to my trailer, so I was leaving when you guys were here. I didn't know why you guys were here. I mean... 
Do you have any weapons on you, anything like that? No, anything that'll poke a stick? No. Can you set your purse down for me? I don't like to set it on the floor. Bad luck. Yeah, my grandma was helping me. Can you space the car for me? Put trans on your back for me. Anything that'll poke me, stick me, anything like that? Take your phone out of your pocket. Your jewelry and necklaces out. Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Let's find that to you here in a minute. Nothing in your bra or anything like that? No, I don't have anything on it. Alright, can you put your hands on your back? Lift them up towards me. Let go of your hands. Why am I doing this again? You have a worn out for your wrist. Why? I believe battery on a house woman. No, I do not. What? Where is my back? I'm trying to get video and then I'm about to walk out and the dude matching the description of the dude in black with shorts comes walking and she's like they were like pointing at him so I go talk to him and then I'm talking to him they're like oh Valerie showed up she's here to get her ID or whatever what's she show up in? she said some Lincoln that's on the south side of this building yeah she took off whenever we were here Telling her, I was like, oh, well, who's in your room? She's like, oh, Sammy Rodriguez or Sammy Gonzalez or Samuel something. I was like, nah, that's not your boyfriend. It's your boyfriend's Anthony. She's like, man, yeah, is he in the area? No, 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 no. She's like, oh, she has 29. What? Do you need your look? You're gone. Yeah. You run as you are? I did not. No, I didn't. against a household member. I don't know, I'll be able to tell you when I pick it up. Looks like it was issued January or November of 2020. Oh no, wait, hold on. Hold on, uh, February of 2020. Yeah. Okay. Give me one minute. Pick up your 40. Another thing I was waiting on as well was to get all the metro, see what they're wanting to do with the room. So there's a bunch of it's like Code 6 property, hard drives, phones, all over. So. While I was waiting for the video, I was waiting for that call too, and then all this. Do you have a budget still? No, I called Plumley just right now when I was talking to her. Said it's Luke Tolkien. But he hasn't showed up yet. She has another idea, I don't know why she's trying to 
didn't get hurt. Is that the dude that you stuck in? No, that was the first dude when I pulled up. That was here. That guy? Yeah. And they're like, oh, no, no, no. He's like, oh, it's not me. And then even RP was like, no, it's not him. And right when I'm talking to him, he just bolts out of here. You jumped the fence or what? No, I, I lost him. He ran around. I saw I lost sight of him. Which, well, yeah, I'm guessing he hopped it. Because Alan was pretty quick to come up here. What do you want to take with you? Anything that I don't know, just right now. Mm. What's it? It's a no bond. Okay. What do you want me to do with your purse? Where's your mom live? If I don't, if I can't get it to your mom, what do you want me to do with it? Okay. Well, the reason why I ask is because you can only take limited stuff to the to the jail. Obviously, your purse you can't take. So I can take your cash and your phone. Should she be at Scoggins right now? Gotta drop off this purse. What's up? You gotta drop off the purse. Find Scoggins? Dick Scoggins? Hey, how's that? It's right there by the ABC Bodywork. Right there off a the hanger, kind of. Yeah, I mean, you could do my finger. Well, I can maybe. I can't see that. Is it even on? Hello? Hi, this is Officer Benoit with the Las Cruces Police Department. Uh-huh. I'm here with your daughter, Valerie. Uh, what's going on? Uh, she's being arrested. She's wondering if, if we could turn over her property to you. Yes, of course. And where are, are you at home right now on Scoggins? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, can I ask where she arrested She has a warrant. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, I'm at, at, at Now I'm just going to give all your property over to this officer to give it to her, okay? Touch 9 the kitchen. Huh? Mom's at the Scoggins address. Alright. Oh, that's cool. I appreciate you. This is a mess. I'm going to start with you. I'm going to get it. You want snack? That's what's nice. Uh, let's take him again. Hold there. Huh? Okay. I got some right now, bro. Hold you over in case you don't get over there. Nice crispy treats, peanut butter crackers, chips, more pop tarts. I'll take whatever you don't want. 
Go over here and look, bro. Is that like a an ion scan? I guess so. It's like an infrared laser. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, it's really cool. The only thing that won't test is fentanyl and black tar oil. Huh. It gives you the same color as a test kit. Uh, not really much. It'll just pick it up. In case it picked it up. Yeah. Hmm. That's awesome. Straight up. That's so cool, man. Uh, uh one is. A bone just called me out the other day and he, you know, he thought it was meth and I opened it and I was like, this is sugar. Oh, I no. It. I tested it with that thing and it says sugar. Oh, wow. Crazy. I wonder why I won't do a car. Yeah, it, I guess the laser will set it on fire. <laughs> oh, shit. That's not good. Yeah, that's good.